In this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at which electrical certificates and which paperwork go together. After all, your customer needs to be given the right set of documents to avoid problems in the future. We are often asked about the CEST certificates and some recent questions have asked what certificates and paperwork should I give to the customer? What paperwork goes with a minor works certificate? Which jobs need to be notified for a Part P certificate? And if I'm not registered with NAPIT or NIC, EIC or a similar scheme, then what electrical work can I do? To start, we can look at the EIC or Electrical Installation Certificate. The EIC is used to certify any electrical work that we would consider significant, such as rewiring a house installing a new consumer unit or running a new electrical circuit such as a new cooker circuit, a new socket ring circuit, etc. It comprises two pages and this is page one. This is page two and most domestic work that requires an EIC to be completed would also need to be notified. More on this soon. In addition, the customer must also be given the guidance for recipients which tells them why they have received the certificate and what to do in the future to ensure the ongoing safety of their installation. In addition, you must also complete a schedule of circuit details for each circuit that is worked on. This circuit details page has changed significantly since the issue of amendment number two. The page only lists the details about the installation that we should know before testing, not the actual testing. The testing of the circuit is on the second page, titled Schedule of Test Results. This was a necessary change as there is now so much information that needs recording that the boxes were becoming too small to write it all in on a one-page document. Splitting it over two pages was the logical thing to do. So, two pages for circuit details and test results with Amendment 2. This means that the paperwork for an electrical installation the pack that shall be handed to the customer will comprise the following. Two pages of electrical installation certificate, one page for the guidance for recipient notes, and two pages for the circuit details and test results. Five pieces of paper in total. Notice that there is no snagging list mentioned. All the snagging and remedial work should be completed before the certificates are signed and issued. Let's look now at the Minor Electrical Installation Works Certificate, or MEIWC. On the job, on site, nobody calls it by its full title. It is abbreviated to Minor Works Certificate, or just MWC. With the Minor Works Certificate, all the circuit information, test results, etc. are on just one sheet of paper. This will be used where we make an addition to an existing circuit, perhaps adding another light to a kitchen, or replacing a broken socket in the lounge, and so on. It is for work on circuits that are already installed. They are pre-existing. Plus, a guide for recipient sheet as well. This gives the customer essential information about the installation, and yes, it is necessary that they receive this information. So for work on just one electrical circuit, you will complete a minor works certificate and attach to it a guidance sheet. If the work involved two circuits, that is to say two separate circuit breakers had to be isolated, then that is two minor works certificates, one for each, plus a guidance sheet, three pieces of paper in total. Some scheme providers have produced their own minor works certificate with space for two separate circuits on the same single sheet of paper, which will save a lot of time in not having to duplicate names and addresses, etc. Now for the Building Control Certificate. Part P is only applicable to electrical work carried out within dwellings and the grounds and outbuildings serviced by that dwelling. A commercial business or industrial factory unit will have electrical certificates issued for the work carried out, but there is no requirement to notify the work for Part P. They are not dwellings. Back to dwellings then. The Building Control Certificate or Part P Certificate 
is not issued by the electrician. The electrician will start the process by advising that the work is complete and safe for use to their scheme provider, NIC, EIC, NAPIT, ELEXA, etc. And it is then the scheme provider that will notify the Local Authority Building Control or LABC. LABC will then issue the Building Control Certificate. Notice the highlighted sentences. This notification process must happen within 28 days of the work being completed. Normally, the electrician will advise his or her scheme provider within 14 days, leaving 14 days for the scheme provider to notify Building Control, the Council, in the relevant areas of the country. This way, everybody stays within the requirements of the building regulations. The Part P certificate will be issued by the relevant local authority. It is called a Building Regulations Certificate of Compliance and the information it contains is very vague. But it is a very important document. If your customer tries to sell their house or to raise a second mortgage on their property, it is one of the first things that a solicitor will ask for. It is evidence that the work was carried out competently and tested properly. Advise your customer to keep it safe along with the electrical certificates. Losing them becomes an expensive and time-consuming process when selling a house. I've made this table to help clarify which certificate to issue, whether to notify or not, and to show how England and Wales differ. The main difference between the two countries concerns the pre-existing circuits in kitchens, outdoor areas, driveways, etc. The circuit in this case already exists but it is added to or altered. The work is minor, so a minor works certificate is issued in England and in Wales. But in Wales, the work in these areas must also be notified to the local authority building control and a Part P certificate obtained. In Wales, a kitchen is a special location, not the case in England. Scotland and Northern Ireland do not use the Part P notification system. Periodic inspections are not installation work. An EICR is issued after a periodic inspection. This electrical installation condition report is not a certificate and does not align with the Part P notification system. It is just a snapshot of the state of an installation at that moment in time. It is a record of what is right and wrong with the circuits inspected. Repairing defects and replacing broken items is not part of the periodic inspection. However, the electrician may be requested to remedy the defects and to correct the observations on the EICR as a separate task. This will require an electrical installation certificate or minor works certificates to be issued for the circuits worked on and possibly notification to LABC under the Part P system requirements. If you are registered with a scheme provider, then your electrical competence, training and experience will be assessed when joining a scheme with NAPIT, NIC, EIC, etc. This allows scheme members to self-certify their own work and to notify their scheme provider of any notifiable work under Part P without involving LABC. Permission to begin work is not required. The scheme provider will then notify LABC on the member's behalf and LABC will issue a Part P Building Control Certificate. To ensure continuing competence, training and ability, the member will be reassessed on an annual basis. If the electrician is not registered with a scheme, then things are different. Electrical competence is the key question, just as it is for scheme members, but now, who is checking the competence? If you have the right skills, training and competence to carry out the work, if you can test it correctly and are able to complete the appropriate certificates, then you can carry out any minor works that do not require notification to building control. For larger projects that will need notification, if you have the skills and competence to carry out the work, you can carry out any electrical work if you have informed LABC of the work beforehand by making a building notice submission and paying the appropriate fees for each job and waiting for their approval to start work. You must complete the correct certificates 
and LABC will issue a Part P building control certificate when they are satisfied the work has been correctly installed and is safe for use. They will want proof that you have the skills and qualifications to do the work competently before giving the go-ahead to start work. It is important that the correct certificates and paperwork are issued to the customer at the time that the work is completed and only after all the problems and snagging items have been put right. If notification to building control is required then this should be done within 28 days of the work being completed. An electrical installation certificate or minor works certificate can only be issued by the person or business carrying out the work or by a registered third party certifier. Work that has not had a certificate issued and where the business has ceased trading cannot have a certificate issued by another person or business. In this situation, a periodic inspection must be completed and an electrical installation condition report issued. Thank you for watching. It's very much appreciated. Hopefully, you've added a little more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing the next one. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.